Wait, that's in the bushes. <laughs> I think he's trying to climb up. <laughs> you can do it! You can do it! But this is really hard because he, he doesn't have hiking shoes. Uh, so should we get him? <laughs> nah, it's too late for hiking shoes. <laughs> We are about to embark on a tour of the ranch, which uh -huh. Caesar has built himself. Yep. Literally planted yep. every tree here. Yep. This was a desert. Super. A desert, right? Not only I finance it, but I also bought the plants, bought every single pot that you see here, design it and dig holes and, and everything. Let me ask you a question, random question. Yep. Whose idea was it to paint all this orange? Me. It's I'm amazing. Mexican. No, but it's amazing because I'm looking at it and I'm like, it just fits in so perfectly. Yeah. But how many people go, oh, I'm just gonna take these stones and make them orange, right? Yeah. And it's the beauty of it. It's like so beautiful. Well, well definitely your house or where you live, you need to have some kind of representation of who you are and the colors you grew up with. I don't know if you noticed when you guys were coming on the road, there's some little houses. Yeah. Those are for search and rescue. They look like bathrooms, but they're not bathrooms, so don't go in there thinking it's bathroom. But the colors is very, uh, the way we color poverty is colors. As Mexicans, we don't paint gray or black or like plain colors. It's, it has to be vibrant. That's part of my culture. I think it's you know? gorgeous. Yeah. See, that's what, that's what asking questions gets you, because you can ask something so simple as like, why is this orange and get such a beautiful cultural answer, yep. you know? Culture. Everything is a thought, like every little pot, every little design, yeah. every yeah. tree. Oh. Here we go on the tour of the ranch. Oh my god. Everywhere you see is something that reflects calmness. It's about safe, peace, and love. My younger son, Calvin, likes to do blacksmith. Yes. So when he was 13, I built him down. We do classes, so then we, we put a tent over here, cover all these things, this is where people eat. This, this road here, you're supposed to walk it. So by the time you get uh, uh, to the temple, you practice meditation, you can practice prayer, you can practice yoga, you can practice anything that is about shutting the brain off and practicing stretch or meditation, right? So because for me, it's very important that I give an animal someone who knows how to sh turn off the brain, you know? I just want you to be calm, confident, love and joy. I just want feelings, I don't want thinking. I just want you to be aware that if you're calm, how calm are you? If you're confident, how confident are you? You know, sometimes you're not very confident. So that is a feeling. Because in the animal world, it's all feeling. It's not thinking. If you're thinking, you're wasting time, right? It's not like money, fame, and power. You gotta think about how you're gonna get it. But in the animal world, it's all about uh, trust, respect, love, honesty, integrity, loyalty, exercise, mental stimulation, affection, body, mind, heart. That's all it is. So home is the environment where you should keep your moral values, where you should keep what help is, what positivity is, what unconditional love is, and what belief is. You know, so your instincts, your, your love, and your spirituality, that's home. The intellect is outside home. In a third world country, we get to retain instincts, passion, and spirituality. In America, you, you come to America till you be smart so you can compete in the money, fame, and power world. But my clients rule that world, but the dogs don't know. What the dog know is, are these people natural, simple, or profound? Todo bien, Javito? He's like, where did this guy come from? So that, that place right there, the dog park, is, is inspired by the Serengeti. So follow, play, explore is something that you have to nurture. Dog people don't nurture follow they nurture, play, and explore. So when you see people walking in the street and the dog is in front, that is an explore walk. But when you see homeless people, the dog is following the homeless. That is a follow walk. So who has more connection? The homeless, that's why he has no leash. So I, I want people to, um, to understand the meaning of socialization. So what I encourage people is we walk together and then we arrive at the dog park. 
once we train physical energy and the dogs know that they have the same rules, boundaries and limitations. And then we bring different species on this side. So dogs not only interact with dogs, but they interact with a horse, with a donkey, with the llamas. But those are dogs that already have rules, boundaries, limitations. Well, is that your dad? Welcome to the temple. Wow. I just gotta say that after this. That was this, terrifying? <laughs> really? So Why? Oh, I felt like a nightmare. I felt like an astronaut. I just wanna say after this, you're buying me these. I saw a version of them at Home Goods. <laughs> this is gorgeous. These, oh, yes. Really? yes yeah. You hike it, you arrive here, then we teach you how to breathe, we teach you how to stretch, we teach you how to meditate. Yeah, you know, it's beautiful. Then you come here, and then look. Think nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't. I want you to feel everything, but think nothing. You know, I want you to feel the calm, the wind, the breeze. You know, to see the color. Lemon trees and orange trees. <gasps> you just said you just what? Did you just say? What? what did you just say? What? Say lemon, what you just said. We have uh, lemon trees, orange <laughs> trees, tangerine trees. We have 50, 50 tree, uh, citrus tree, and it's uh, five different types. So. And on the other side, we're gonna do the vegetables, and we're gonna do uh, uh, fruit. Are you? Are you the sidekick? Wait, that's in the bushes. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to climb up. <laughs> you can do it! You can do it! We are making him work for it. He's burning it. He's burning it. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized driving down is gonna make Megan nervous. <laughs> no, driving up was nervous. Driving down will make me Driving nervous. down is gonna be like a roller. Thing. Are you gonna yeah, finish or, you, or should we go down? I literally saw him in the bushes earlier, kind of like, to, it looked like that. <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's it, this is for the butt. <laughs> oh, uh, but this is really hard because he, he doesn't have hiking shoes. Uh, so should we get him? <laughs> nah, it's too late for hiking shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> hey, but you, hey. Know, you know how to climb heels because you went on the edge. He did it! Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah, I look, I look alike. Santiago is basically Caesar's right-hand driver. You did such a good job. I just want to eat you. I love you. Hi! Hi! <laughs> this is easy 45 degrees, isn't it? <laughs> Feels like I'm standing up, actually. Oh, we got another hill to go. Dad, I kissed a llama. Oh, and yeah. they brought the That's llama. Where they this is how you know if you're 100% Mexican or not. If you don't have a barbecue area. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it is. It's unbelievably, like the orange is just gorgeous. Yeah. And you just wouldn't you like think to put orange and then. It's so earthy. It's just so beautiful. So here's the, this is our, our waterfall. We also have koi. So we have the yin and yang. Ah. Also a place for people to practice relaxation, um, yoga, meditation, Sound prayer. Water. I don't like leaving my baby behind. What is better than a bird? Nothing. This has been unbelievably amazing, not just from a perspective of, okay, we're here seeing like Caesar Milan's place, but like seeing the future of what we could be. You just learn, you watch and you learn from the people that have already done it and done it well. And this is done really well. This is 
gorgeous. It's like an oasis. I think everything that he says about how to treat the animal and how to be calm and how to be serene is reflected in the environment that he's built. So that's what's amazing. Because, you know, a lot of people are up here in Santa Clarita doing the animal rescue thing. I think you've got like Tippy Hedren up here with her big lions and big cats. You know that he's up here with his dogs. You know that there's like Gentle Barn a little closer, but like also in this area with their rescue barn animals. It's really nice to see how some of these people do it because, I mean, I just honestly think like when we have like a parrot rescue, like this is the kind of space we're gonna need, you know? Plus Bernadette, who did my body talk, told me that one day I would have like something in Santa Clarita. And I was like, Santa Clarita. And she also said I would do something that goes worldwide before I even had my YouTube channel. She's like, you're gonna do something for animals that goes worldwide. And I'm like, Psh, I wanna be an actor. <laughs> Shout out to Bernadette. <laughs> All right. I think Jersey's had a very interesting day. I know you love all animals and you grew up with animals, but sometimes like just having a bird as a companion is like a completely different thing. And since you've been so known for like dogs, mm -hmm. How do you feel your bond is with your birds versus your dogs? Is it different to you? I think the bird, since represents wind, you know, is a, is a wind animal. You have the water animal, the land animal, and then the wind animal. The way they feel is much lighter, the feeling about being with them. The love, the trust, the respect, and all that is the same. It's just the physical experience is different. You know what I mean? For me, that's what I'm feeling from a, from a bird versus a chihuahua, right? So a chihuahua feels heavier, but it's the same love, it's the same trust, it's the same, because it's an energy, and then it's the body. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what, what we have to learn to feel is the energy, and then to admire the body. Because a lot of people admire the body, but they don't know how to connect. So it doesn't matter what body they have. Yeah. Because they're not connected with the heart, with the soul, with the instincts. You know, and that's extremely important for them because that's how they achieve trust, respect, and love. So if they don't have that, it doesn't matter how much you think they're beautiful. Is you know? there anything you're surprised by? I'm understanding the whole thing about losing feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I worry. <laughs> I worry when, when Rio starts losing feathers, but it's part of it. She yeah. does it at a certain time. She's a small the thing? The small yeah, thing made thing you nervous? Part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I know for, for a woman when they're losing hair, they get really scared about yeah. losing hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it's like, is my girl losing feathers? You know, so I get, I got, I got worried about that. Yeah, That's it. understandable. Yeah. What about like the communication with birds sometimes because they can talk to you and, and really communicate? I mean, I don't know, you know, with Rio, if Rio does any of that or talks like that, but the more that you interact with Rio and the longer you have Rio it just it just feels like with birds they find all these new ways of communicating but that's one thing that a dog can never do like say hola and stuff right. like that right when we get home uh, Rio gets out of the car she walks into the house and every single dog she say hello every single dog yeah so that that's one thing a dog can never do yeah you know what I mean the sounds and the yeah. words and and when the phone rings, she's yeah. like, she's on it, things like that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty new to the bird thing, but it's very visual. So dogs says nose, eyes, ears, yeah. and these guys are eyes, ears, nose. Their eyes are like, you know what I mean? So That's like, why I think I love them because, especially like let's take an African gray that is like all of them, but they're human behavior analysts. That's what birds are to me. Like. And when you have an African Grey, they uh, kind of produce everything that they're analyzing. So every sound that you go through every day from your alarm to the click of your makeup opening to, you know, anything that you might touch or bang or ding or TV or whatever, they like uh, recreate your own life for you. <laughs> you know how some humans so, can imitate all yeah. the sounds? And that's what you're saying about the African Greys. Yeah. Because this guy hasn't done any, any words any sounds yet, but it's, it's been with me for like a month. He's sleeping on you. Yeah, for like a month. So for me, the most important thing is not that a dog can do tricks, is that a dog can follow me off leash. Yeah. That's it. That to me, I, I arrived in heaven. 
That's it. That's all. I just want the companion. I want the instincts. I want the heart. I want the spirit. If I want to put some time and do sit down, stay calm here, roll over, I'll do it. Otherwise, in Mexico, nobody asks for a dog to do tricks. The training is more uh, an American thing. Like everybody wants to yeah. have a trained dog, but I'd rather have a dog that is connected to me. This is a, this is a, what I was I saying in the car. This is what I say about birds. I say so many people are focused on do the trick, fly to me here, fly to me there. And that's amazing to have that kind of like, you know, communication with your bird. But when you bond with your bird and when you include them as part of your family, all that training is going to fall into place. It's just going to mesh with your, your family and your bird's going to know now it's time for this. Now it's time for that. Now it's time. And, and then all those things that are their personality are going to come out because they enjoy it, mm -hmm. not because they're doing tricks, because they want to laugh with you and make you happy and you're singing and we're singing. It's very important for But birds. when you raise human kids, yeah. it, it, it's the same thing. Yeah. You want, before you train them, before before they do any kind of, you know, gymnastics and ice skating and snowboarding and all of that, me as a father, the only thing I want them to feel at home is safe, peace, love, and to have exercise so they can burn physical energy. They can have mental stimulation so they don't have to be bored with their mind and they can feel how much I love them. So body, mind, heart. Yeah. And my biggest thing for my kids is for them to be honest people, integrity people, loyal people. To, to find the pursuit of happiness and to live in the moment. That makes me a good dad, not because I train them. 100%. You see what I mean? So yeah. as, a, as a human dad and as a parent, you know, uh, bird dad and, and every single animal that I have, I ask for the same thing. Mm -hmm. I achieve the same thing. So that's why when I came to America, I wanted to train dogs, but then I saw, well, nobody's raising dogs. Because people were getting puppies, but then somehow the puppy developed aggression and fear and all that stuff. But the puppy didn't born with that. So that was that was human made, get it? So, yeah, so they were not raising them properly, but they were focusing, I need to train my dog because my dog is attacking other dogs. I think you said it perfectly. Like I never even thought of the words in that way, but it's like we're raising birds, you know? They're part of our family. We're not like come out and do the thing. It's like they're our family. But that's the first step. So yeah. puppyhood is, is about raising, or, or childhood is about raising somebody. Then once you, once you enter into another, a stage of your life you can think about training. So I'd rather have a balanced kid than a kid who's trained, not balanced. Yeah, that's what happens when you have because a bunch of kids that are, you know, that they, they have sort of talents but then they die because they committed suicide or something happens to them and they, they're not happy with their lives, they're not happy with themselves, they're not, you know, they're not But connected. they don't love themselves, they don't respect themselves, yeah. they don't trust they're themselves. They're there because they were forced to do something that they didn't want to do. Or, and then now they're like, you know, they're now they're, they're confused. backtracking. Yeah. They're well, confused and disconnected. If you haven't raised a bird well, or I'm assuming it's the same for a dog, you won't know, you won't have a bond enough to know what is going to motivate them to do the trick. In my line of work, I didn't raise all the dogs that are rehabilitated. Yeah. So what I help them is to reconnect to what they lost in order for them to go back to their natural state of mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because a, a lot of the dogs that I work with, they didn't, have, they didn't have enough exercise. They didn't have enough mental challenge. They just, have, they just had affection, affection, affection. So can you make a kid unstable with just giving them everything? Yeah. So can you make a dog unstable by only doing affection, affection, affection? That's how I end up with a TV show. I didn't came to America to have a TV show. Yeah. I came to America to learn from Americans and then go back home. But then I saw a, 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 a space that uh, was not uh, addressed, which is, connecting, communicating, and having a relationship before you go into training. Easiest way to keep a dog balanced is a long walk. A tired dog is not gonna, it's not gonna bark, it's not gonna chase, it's yeah. not gonna get in trouble, it's not gonna distract yeah, exactly. anything. Well, yeah. he's tired. So and then he, he can go inside your house to recover. But a lot of dogs are inside the house destroying it <laughs> because they need to drain energy. So I always tell people, if a dog can smoke or drink in America, we'll be at so many alcoholic dogs. <laughs> <laughs> They got nothing else to do. <laughs> so they got nothing else to do. Mexican dogs in the street. Mm -hmm. So the whole the whole country is a, as a dog park. Yeah. Our dogs go to church, go to beach, go to stores, go go to the. Uh, That's the how Israeli dogs market. are too. That's how Israeli really cats yeah. are. No, but the dogs too. Yeah. Dogs are known to do that as well. Our They're... dog that we brought from Israel, he would take his own walk. He would come up the elevator, know his floor, and then if someone opened the elevator earlier, he'd get out and then go up the stairs the rest of the way. Like, so smart. 
And then when we moved him to America, he would just, we'd just open the front door, he'd go do his own walks and come back. Yeah. I skipped school and my brother skipped school and we saw our dog in the mall. And he was like, if I don't tell, you won't tell. And then we all went our separate ways. And when I got home, that dog was home. You know? And nobody said a thing. Nobody said a thing. <laughs> yeah, Until now. Thing. Yeah. Well, now we know what happened. <laughs> in that mall. Thank you. This means you're in the Sniffers Anonymous Sniffers Club. Anonymous. <laughs> Sniffers means you like the smell of birds because oh. they smell very good. Yes, they do. <laughs> I do shower my bir birds, by the way. You, you have, you have I'm to. I'm a Virgo, so I have to be able to Virgo. be perfect. You What's have your to birthday? watch this August 27th. Oh, the day after yeah, my Yeah, so in a Virgo world, everything has to be perfect. Yes. Including the birds and yes. the smell, everything has to be Oh, match. yeah, your alpaca was on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank we you. had such a great time here, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel <laughs> and bye, bye. check out the video that's going to be on his channel. He is now part of the Sniffers Anonymous Club, and we had such a great time. Let me know your favorite part of this video. Bye! Bye.